Eyes of 1975 and welcome to Elite Dangerous on the Xbox One. And today I got some footage in the background of me practicing using FA off and PAs with Atomic Tom as I look back over the last year with my reflections from my birthday. There's some funny bits, uh, there's some informative bits, and um, it'll end with me stroking my cock. So there's that to come. Uh, now, as to how this all goes, well, um, it's been an interesting year. It's been a very busy year for me. We've moved house, we've had a lot go on, and um, it's been a very stressful year. Um, the period between September and Christmas last year was absolutely nightmarish. In fact, it was a year ago, the day I'm making this video, uh, that my landlord decided that they wanted us to um, not have any animals in the house. They wanted us to limit it to two cats and one dog. And at the time, we had five cats, one dog, a squirrel, uh, uh, and about nine chickens in the house. So, you know, it wasn't going to go well. It ended up with us being forced to find somewhere new to live. And luckily, it all turned out all right. But I mean, the stress was high. Anyway, one year on, and uh, that's all resolved. But IED is still claiming I'm toxic. Um, yeah, um, I love the fact that this latest claim is that I actually try and burn the reputation of lawful commanders with basically trying to twist anything into a combat lock. Now I personally, I'm very disappointed with this accusation because I've always felt I've played incredibly fair uh, when it comes to this sort of subject. I've always given the benefit of the doubt and leeway and I've in fact done videos showing disconnects and pointing out they are disconnects and definitely not combat logs. Uh, I will include two in the description of this video the, um, where I very patiently and painstakingly point out they're not combat logs, they are disconnects. Uh, so this accusation has somewhat annoyed me. I'll be honest, annoyed is the wrong word, it's more disappointed me really, because it's been a year. Um, this is something like the 30th comment or 30th time I've read a comment from an IED member claiming I'm toxic. And yet to yet, they haven't provided a single shred of evidence. Uh, it's just properly annoying. Um, I mean, in the past, I've even spoken out in the defense of some of their commanders when incidents have happened. I've also been asked by them to provide an opinion on some another incident that happened to another commander because uh, the IED member approached me knows I'm brutally honest when it comes to whether it's a clog or not a clog. I have no vested interest. I'm not out to burn anyone. I do show videos of people cheating. And normally, like the last one I showed of an IED member, the person even told me they cheated. Uh, so there's absolutely no disputing that one. And the one before that, the person admitted they cheated. So, again, not really much there I can say. I'm not trying to turn disconnects, um, you know, desyncs, and make something out of nothing. In fact, I think this is rather a large amount of projection. But anyway, let's get on to something funnier. So, over the year, many people have said reviews of my channel, but the funniest one was definitely uh, Danger from TOC. And I wish I'd have recorded it when he said this, but it was properly funny review of my channel. And, uh, yeah, so, <laughs> you're a lovely bloke, but your videos are a bit boring. Uh, was something that Dan said to me early hours of the morning, one night when we were fighting. And I gotta say, um, it's my favorite review I've had of my channel, actually. It just made me laugh and uh, put a big fat smile on my face, so I enjoyed that. I've also got um, another review coming because another infamous member of TSC has also uh, reviewed my channel, so I'm going to share with that with you in a moment. I spent quite a lot of time in the last few months hanging out with TSC. Uh, they're a hilarious bunch of guys, they're really good fun to fly with, really good fun to fight against, and really good fun to fight with. They, they recently came after my. Uh, type 9 and hunted that for a bit and um, if any of you are unaware of the recent thing that happened between Atomic Tom and somebody that's on the Facebook Uncut page, um, Zamarco's put a video about, about that, but here's Atomic Tom's review of my YouTube channel Take this, yes. Yeah I really couldn't resist that one 
So, uh, yeah, it's been a fun year. It's been a weird year, um, what with everything that's been going on. And um, it's been a particularly good year for YouTube. Um, because of the pandemic, people were locked down, you know. Uh, it just was a very good year for YouTube. It's slackened off recently in the summer, it always does. Um, but uh, I'm on course to have another good year like I did last year. Um, the amount of money we've raised for Big Red Rooster Rescue is, um, you know, doing really well, uh, phenomenally well. It's like, um, so in, since between September uh, last year and September this year, it's uh, uh, I think it's in total it's about one thousand two hundred pound raised for the rescue between what I've earned from YouTube and what my subscribers have donated in donations to the rescue, uh, which is phenomenal. So a huge, huge thank you to all of you guys. Anyone who's clicked on or liked one of my videos, watched one of my videos, or engaged with my channel in any way, shape, or form, uh, despite the people telling people not to engage with my channel and spreading horrible rumors that I'm toxic. Um, it's been a bumper year. Um, and, like, it is all about raising money for Big Red Rooster Cockerel Rescue. That is what my channel is here for. Uh, that is why I'm the cock in space. I still find it funny that I run into commanders, that, you know, who still think, like, I'm in the cock in space because I think I'm some really, like, rock-hard PvP -er or something like that. Uh, no, I'm the cock in space because we run a cockerel rescue charity. Uh, you know, I used to, when I played Call of Duty, it was always cod with cock. And I used to include photographs of the cockerels. Um, it's been a bit of a disappointment for some people since we moved into the new facility as it is. Uh, with the soundproofing and that, obviously when I record these videos, there's a lot less cockerel noise in the background. Um, I'm not surrounded by birds, they're not running around at my feet. Um, well, they are, but not when I'm sat recording videos. Uh, they're out during the day when it's sunny. Um, they're quite often in my room in the conservatory. But at night when I'm recording these videos in the early hours of the morning, you know, I'm sat here on my own. So it's a bit weird. It's a little bit um, different. Um, it's not as a unique selling point as it used to be. But we are still incredibly busy with Big Red Rooster Rescue. We have well over 200 birds at the rescue. It is like the most incredibly expensive time for us at the rescue because we've got to get the place ready for winter and make sure we replace any housing that needs replacing, get any repairs done that need repairing and just generally get ready to batten down the hatches and have winter uh, when it's all muddy and slippy and um, my, you know, and Helen unfortunately has to work her absolute butt off at the rescue. The, I'm very proud of what she does. I support her in a lot of ways but the, the amount of work she puts in um, when you're talking about that many houses spread across a third of an acre of woodland it's properly like hard work every single day for her and the amount of money that we put in ourselves is ridiculous we both work um, you know the rescue doesn't make any money it's just you know it's our second biggest bill <laughs> um, but it is a passion project for her she loves rescuing the animals, so it's a great thing that she does. And I'll be honest, I'm very proud of what she's achieved and um, you know how much uh, she's got done and how much it's grown over the years uh, into you know what is a proper full-scale rescue that's been going a long time. Um, she's appeared on BBC Radio pretty frequently. We've been on the one show. Um, it's been an interesting like uh, time. We've uh, yeah, it's just mad. It's just really, really weird. Um, and, you know, I really do um, appreciate everything you guys do to help out with the rescue. Just by liking my videos, sharing my videos, watching my videos, you're helping to raise money for an animal rescue charity that, like, is minuscule in finances. Like, it's... It's two idiots that don't even own their own home spending a fortune on running an animal rescue on borrowed land. It's properly crazy. It's not something I would recommend anyone get into. Um, it's certainly um, not something you should get into if you want to take long vacations in the sun or have money. Um, or a new Xbox. Because, you know, my finances are just basically 
get the rescue sorted and then when we've got some money I can get things for myself but anyway as promised I'll leave you with me stroking my cock this is from the one show and this is me in my kitchen so that's all thanks for watching